Good evening. This is Kelvin again. We are going to have some wonderful time. Uh, I believe you can get me loud and clear. And now, today I posted earlier the topic that I shall be handling. Uh, I like you, but I'm still in contact with my ex. I want to thank the God Code generation for this opportunity. Asante ni sana. I believe together as we tune in, as we listen in. So, yeah, I was just doing some mic check, one, two, and I believe I'm audible, and uh, we are going to have an awesome time. So, it will be roughly 20 minutes or so. We are going to be together, brief to the point, but I believe it's... So, this is a really interesting topic that uh, most people, I'm sure, struggle with, that someone likes you or you like someone but you're still in communication you're still in contact uh with your ex so uh, i first two points that i'm gonna look at that causes people to be in contact with their ex after those two points i will again finalize with the last two points of us focusing on this new guy that you like or this new lady that you like uh, something that is gonna help us so that we are not in contact with the past i believe in the bible says that we should not a dog does not go back to its vomit so first off the number one reason why many people are still in contact uh, with their ex my number one reason i want to explain it unresolved promises unresolved many people got promises when they were dating someone when they were together with someone they were given so many promises maybe you are the one who was the giver you are the one who gave a lot of promises or you are the one who was given a lot of promises when the relationship breaks or rather, when your union ends, the two of you, most people often feel uh, dissatisfied. They feel cheated. Like, so was that a waste of time? All those plans we had, uh, you told me you wanted three kids. You said you wanted two kids. I told you I wanted four, some, something of the sort. All that just gone with the wind. So people are in denial. Like, how can it be? that we made all those plans, we made all those promises, and then you're just going to end them like that. So most of the time, people are in contact with their ex without even knowing it. And the reason is because there's unresolved promises. The person feels like, so what happened to the way you told me that you're going to take me to school? Some people even promised the other person that they're going to take them to school. A lot of promises were actually made. Unresolved promises. And uh, unresolved promises, it is not only the problem. So many people have unresolved heart. Heart. Somebody hurt you. And you just can't let it go like that. You feel like they need to understand the pain they brought in your life. You feel like, hey, how oh, are and the evil? Okay, so you just keep contacting them you actually think it is just a communication but the truth is you really have unresolved heart and you would wish you would wish to lash it out on someone and so that is number one reason uh, why many people are still in contact uh, with their exes unresolved promises uh, the second reason the second reason why people uh, still get in contact with their exes, I'm just uh, forming the basis here, is entertained advances. Entertained advances. When you entertain the advances of your ex, when you entertain the advances of someone who used to be together with you, 
you know they'll keep doing it because you've encouraged it they try it once they see that you are not strict about it you did not uh angry that they texted you or even called you what will happen they'll continue doing that you love entertained advances bringing in more sms's more phone calls because you actually entertained the person okay so make sure that with someone new if you are actually uh with someone that you've met that is new make sure you're not entertaining advances from a previous party okay make sure you're not entertaining those advances just make sure you have locked that door you are focusing on the new relationship because the moment you entertain the advances the person is going to interpret it like something that you are interested to go on and on so make sure you don't entertain uh, those advances many people often ask me but then how do i move on because you keep seeing this person you go to their social media handles you are still stalking them you are trailing them you want to know how they are faring on right i've written here in one of my notes that the best revenge is always moving on that's the best revenge the best revenge is always moving on uh don't be stuck don't be stuck there make sure you move on the best revenge is always moving on and uh, i've also written here if you're not going to talk about that person uh, god forbid but if today and to be on your deathbed ask yourself would you talk about that person would you, would you want that person to be called Will they be in your close circle of the people you don't want to see before if that person is not somebody you would talk about them in your deathbed don't give them a priority don't give them a priority so remember as i've said number one, when you have unresolved promises because you feel cheated right you want them to meet that promise of the babies that you're going to have Number two, entertain the advances. When you entertain those, when you entertain your ex uh, texting you, telling you you look good, I saw you in that pic today that you posted, you are actually entertaining those advances. They'll keep doing it and they'll keep sending more. So stop entertaining. Just let the person know, I'm in a new relationship right now. I'm focusing on it. Uh, I wish you well in entertain don't entertain those advances and remember i've said the best revenge is always moving on don't cling on to the past i want to tell you a short story of uh, we all know monks these people who shave their heads uh, most of the time they go somewhere they take some time off for spiritual purposes it's not a must to shave your heads i'm talking about the ones especially from india and all that uh, there were these uh, monks who were traveling and then they found a girl uh, who was stuck in some muddy place. And one of the monks offered to carry the girl. And the other monk told this colleague of his, hey, you know, we are monks. We are not even allowed to touch a girl. But this monk was like, so are we going to let this girl suffer here because we are not supposed to touch girls? That monk did not hear any of it. So he took the girl carried the girl across uh, that place and they left they continued walking and four hours later this monk uh, turned to the other monk that had carried the girl and they told the monk you know you are not supposed to have carried that girl and this monk simply answered and said i carried her and i put her down four hours ago but you are still carrying her in your head isn't that how most of us are in life? You are still carrying someone in your head. You see, this monk had carried this girl across and he put her down. After he finished his assignment, he helped the girl and he forgot about it. 
and he put her down. But his colleague kept pondering on that matter. You know, we are monks, we are not supposed to carry girls as human beings. We beat ourselves down over things that have already happened. We have no power to change them, but we are still crying over spilt milk. Hear me. If you've been carrying someone in your head, maybe it's time like this monk. Can you stop and in your heart? Put them down. That season ended. And I want to give you a new definition of forgiveness today. I know we've been hearing so much about forgiveness. Today I want to give you a new definition of forgiveness. I've written here, forgiveness is accepting the fact that it happened. Okay? Forgiveness is accepting the fact that it happened and that you can't make it any different. It happened. You can't make it any different. You can't change it. You just have to accept that fact that it happened. Don't try to live in the past and wish it hadn't happened like that. Well, it happened. So we have to deal with it now that it happened. I'm not saying it is fair, but it actually happened. So that is forgiveness, accepting the fact that it happened and there's nothing much you can do about it right now. The best you can do about it is to release. And I've also written, blame is easier than taking responsibility. When you're blaming someone, it's way easier than to just say I'm the one who was selfish, than to say I'm the one who missed it. So I've told you the reason why people still communicate with their exes and you can see I'm giving you stories on why some people still do so. It is because they don't accept the fact that it happened and that there's nothing much different they can do about it. And then you remember that story of that uh, monk. Stop carrying people. Once you cross them the other side, put them down and don't carry them in your head. Don't carry them in your heart. So we've checked out and resolved the promises that causes people to talk with their ex. Number two, entertain advances. Don't entertain advances. We come to, you like a person. How do you concentrate on this person without now being in contact with your ex? Because we have looked at the number two uh, reasons why people still communicate. Now let me give you the two reasons that can help you not to communicate and actually uh, move on. Uh, point number one, now that you're in a new relationship, you need a If you don't have a new focus, believe me, the old focus will always be taking place. Now that you have someone new, do you have a new agenda? Ha have a new agenda. I'm with this person because I want to see whether this is going to lead to marriage, where this is going to head to. When you don't have a new focus, you will concentrate on the old focus. That's why when the old person calls you or texts you, you will reply. Because you, you still don't have any relevance today. And I've said this many times, that there are people when you meet them, their stories are always in the past. Their relevance is always in the past. They always talk about how they used to do A, B, C, D in the past. You ask them what they are doing now, and they fumble. They are like, uh, uh, but you know, I used to do this. You've not asked them what they used to do. You've asked them what they are doing now, and they really can't say much. There are people who their glory is always in the past. The things... They want to do, you ask them right now their plans, they will keep taking you back to the days when they had money, to the days when they had friends. Friends, when you don't have a new focus, it is hard. You always have the old agenda. Okay? So that is number one. Now that you have someone, you like this person, and you're still in contact with your ex, the reason is because you don't have a new focus. You need a new focus. You need a new hobby. Find a new hobby. If you used to do by riding with your ex, now that you have found a new person, why, why don't you maybe try ask them? Maybe they love swimming. Because you see, if you don't get rid of that bike riding that you used to do with your ex, you might find yourself trying to form this new person into your ex. You tell them, ah, we need to go for bike riding. And this new person does not love even bikes or anything of the sort. And you are trying to encourage them, let's go, it's going to be fun. You know what you are doing? You are relieving your past life with this new person. Don't do that. They are not your ex. Okay? So find a new focus. Number two point. 
uh, uh, the first ones I told you and the soft promises. Now the things that will help us not to communicate with them, I've told you the first one is new focus. Okay. One, complete healing. Complete healing. When you are whole, when you're completely restored. I want to give you an example uh, with the Bible. Uh, the story of uh, Jesus and the ten lepers. We remember we are told that when they were healed, only one came back to say thank you. Only one. The ten lepers were healed, but only one came to say thank you. When that one came back to say thank you, Jesus told him, why there are not uh, nine of these? Where, where are the rest? These people, only one has come to say thank you. And Jesus told him, go. You have been made whole. Now I want to explain that thing. You see, leprosy uh, is a disease that used to eat the fingers, it eats the toes, so it actually eats your body parts, and they fall off. So these people probably had hands. Their hands looked funny. It, it looked like something. The, their hands looked like this. There's no finger. This part, you can imagine, their hand looks like the part had been eaten off. But when this one came, the others who are healed were only healed, but their bodies remained like that. Their hands were still that hanging and all that. When Jesus said, but as for you, you've been made whole, it means even the broken parts, the parts that had fallen off. That is the difference with this one leper who came back. There are so many people who are not whole. Like this leper was told, now you are whole. So many people are not whole, okay? But we need to understand that this one was made whole. Can you make sure that you are whole in your new relationship? I've said new focus, number one. And number two, complete healing. You can't love unless you are completely healed and you love yourself. You will think you're loving people best the other person feels like they are constantly being attacked why because you are punishing them for a healing that you even started this can we ensure thing or with someone new make sure you have complete healing let, let, let not your past bleed in should not bleed as I've said the best revenge is always moving on. Move on. Don't live in the past of that person. And I've said blame is easier than taking responsibility. Don't blame. And I've given you the definition of forgiveness. So, have you accepted the fact that it happened? And that there's nothing much you can do about it. There's no much different uh, thing you can do about it. It happened, accept it. That is the forgiveness I'm talking about. And so, as I'm even concluding, we remember those two points. Uh, let me finish by saying this. Many times when you're getting into a new relationship, when you're introducing someone new into your life, they have a lot of hopes. They are looking up to you in a very passionate way. It's not fair when you're bringing someone to play with their feelings, to play with their hearts, while they believe that it is something real. They believe there's a deal here. They believe it's going to work out well. But you are busy doing trial and error. Don't be in constant communication with your ex. In fact, don't be in communication at all. If you are still in communication with your ex, it means you have unresolved issues. Go sit down with the person. If they hurt you, talk it out. If it is unresolved promises, like I've said in my first point, make sure you sit them down and explain to them that you actually hurt me. To be honest, I thought that this thing was going to go far. You had told me all these things. We talked about babies. We even gave them names. And then you just disappeared. Express yourself. Let the person know that you are hurt. Don't have unresolved issues. Okay? And then stop entertaining advances. 
concentrate on the new person that you like. So you cannot have a new person and still be in communication with your ex. That is a no-no. I hope that one has been taken in well. If you are still in communication with your ex, that's a red flag. You haven't moved on. You are still living in the past and you are trying to relive your past life. Don't do that. It's not fair. I hope today we've learned something. It was just brief because I wanted to do that introduction. I believe we shall still get another time. Uh, somebody has gotten something if you've been taking notes uh, thank you for those who tuned in uh, the lord bless you remember our victory is still ahead your best days is still ahead stop pastors thank god you still have hope if you can hear me because there is hope so long as there's still breath amongst you there's hope god is not done with you god is not finished with you so god bless you the Lord keep you. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we are going to be meeting again. Uh, the Lord thank you.